Good morning folks, starting off in South Africa where a ship that ran aground is leaking oil. There are plans to tow to Cape Town today. Boy in event mode last night, actually had a minor deviation again this morning before I lost sight access, still minor though. Quick look at the US climate records reveals flooding as the top concern, followed by cold records and then heat. The bottom two lines showed the extreme swings from last year. Typhoon Ator developed an eye yesterday just in time to take on the Philippines today. I assume locals are ready. It's slated to swing towards Hong Kong next. Here's the before and after on Henriette, nearly dead and well south of Hawaii. But looking south of that, you see the last little bit of rain lingering in New Zealand, Tasmania on deck for precipitation tonight. Convergence thunderstorms are the lone threat in Europe. The heat wave is almost completely gone. Power load that flooded Colorado is in the central states today, converging the air masses yet again and causing yet another major situation. No, it doesn't show it here, but the east and gulf states should be on watch as well. Solar flaring, not making a scene, but creating some wake on the x-ray chart. 24 hours and 7 seconds reveals that we have the southeastern quadrant to thank for that. This is major sunspot development in multiple places. Middle of the southern three groups shows clear delta development in two different spots, while the bigger active region trailing on the north appears mostly negative despite the leading positive umbra. We'll need a better look tomorrow. We took a coronal hole stream two days ago, but you wouldn't expect this. The second density rise amidst the speedier particles. It's possible that's one of the CMEs we've been expecting, but there is no geomagnetic disturbance showing on the KP index. The Enlil Spiral is updated to include all three CMEs from departing Group 1813, and they expect impact really any time now. If you caught last night's news, you know that three magnetic connections to the Sun have jumped to this new umbral opening and coronal hole currently turning in to face Earth. The combination of that coronal hole, it's a big one, the space weather in the offing, and the fact that this is the longest we've gone without a 6 magnitude uptick in 2013 keeps our watch score at 7 from last night. For those following the planets, we have the strongest heliocentric geometry of the year coming the next few days. The Sun, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter are all aligning with each other over the next few days, a rare four-object lineup. Shots of our star to close, including the Earth scale and a massive plasma filament facing Earth today. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.